Welcome back my beauties and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So for today's set, I'm going to be doing once again the Femi Beauty Lazy Girl Method. And like I've said previously, I have grown to love this method so much, super convenient. So you wanna take your full cover tips and I was just pointing because you do wanna etch the inside. So you either do that with some primer or you can also use an e-file to do so before starting with the method. Today I'm using this poly gel from a cart called Le Corral and it's a beautiful, perfect like nude shade. Um, I've used it so many times as you can see, it's about gone. And I'm also gonna be using my Beetle Slip Solution that I showed in a previous video. So as normal, I do the same routine of putting the poly gel into the tip of the nail. I'm gonna pad that to the side walls and bring it a little more than halfway down. I do do all of my tips first, and then I do cure in the lamp for a full 30 seconds. And then I come back and go in with my cuticle beads just to place that on my nail. So I'm only gonna show like two nails in this one just in case there's anyone new who has not seen me do this method yet. Um, but it, cause it's pretty repetitive, I'm not doing anything extra as far as like glitters or anything like that. I just wanted this color as the base of all of my nails. So I'm just doing the exact same method of overall. So when you do this, you do wanna make sure you're turning it over to see how it's looking, but make sure that your side walls are covered completely so that there's like no clear gaps in the nail when you look at it on top. Um, just make sure everything's smoothing out nice. You do wanna have some slip solution. Like I said, I'm using my Beetle Slip Solution, but alcohol works just fine, 70% or better. Um, and then again, like I said, I'm just filling the tips in, curing, and then we'll go in with my cuticle beads. The full cover tips I'm using today are my Wellquin XXL Coven tips, and I highly recommend these. I got them off Amazon, and I will have that link down below. So once I get all of the tips set with the poly gel and cured, I'm now going in with a cuticle bead. And you don't wanna to put too much, um, just enough. I'm applying my slip solution and then I'm gonna go ahead and pat that into the nail well and just smooth that all over the nail. Also making sure that I cover the side walls and making sure my cuticle area does not have too much product to make it flushed and like have so much spillage on it. So that's another important tip. Another important tip when doing the Femi Beauty Lazy Girl Method is make sure you're doing thin layers because you don't want the nail too bulky. You kind of want to keep the shape underneath the nail as well. So you don't need a lot of product. A little goes a long way. Um, and I've learned that just doing this many times and sometimes putting a little bit too much. So a little goes a long way. Once I do get it just how I want into the nail well, I am gonna lightly place that on my, my natural nail um, and it should just go on just perfectly fine. Another tip is you do want to size up when you're doing the Lazy Girl Method. So whatever size you normally would wear on your thumb, you wanna go and size up your index and so forth and so on so that you don't have to like force the nail on. It should be there with ease. Once I place it on, if there's any spillage, I do take my brush with some alcohol or whatever I'm using and just clean up around the cuticle before I do cure. I also look under and make sure there's not any like bulkage of that poly gel and I do smooth that out before curing as well. So I'm just gonna show one more nail of this because like I said, it's really repetitive, very super easy. 
Um, if you do want a full video again of this, if I'm ever doing it again and I decide not to do all nails, just let me know down below and I will be more than happy to leave it in. But I just didn't want to bore anyone by doing the exact same thing over and over. But like I said, for anyone that is new, I am leaving in a few nails just so you can kind of see the method and see how easy it actually is to achieve this. Also, before going in to apply your, the uh, nail to your natural nail, you want to make sure you're prepping your nails if you want them to stay. So you push back your cuticles, go around the cuticle with a needle drill bit to remove any dead skin. You're going to rough up the surface of your natural nail um, and then apply a dehydrator and primer of your choice. And then apply base gel, cure that for 30 seconds and then go in with the nail tip. So once I get all of the nails applied, I'm now taking a lint-free wipe and some alcohol and I'm just going over the nails, basically really trying to get under the nails so that I can take off the tacky layer before I go in to start filing. And then I'm taking my McCart Stephanie E-File and a 180 grit sanding band and I'm just going around my cuticle area to make that more flushed as well as to get off any poly gel that might have cured outside of the nail tip. Um, and this is a really important step if you do want this to look a little more natural. Also, you can go in with a hand file and do this. You don't have to have an e-file. And the same goes for like when you're prepping your nails, how I said use a needle drill bit. If you don't have an e-file, you can take the dead skin off with a hand file as well. So whichever way you choose, it's just important steps to take. I did the rest of them off camera and now I'm taking my mini buffer and I'm just buffing off the shine of the nail tips and this part is like a favorite of mine I love how the nails look once they're buffed so I'm just removing that shine so that I can go in with my next step of the design And here's how the nails are looking. So then I'm gonna take this gel polish from Annabelle and it's a cat eye gel polish I got off Amazon so long ago. And Amethyst from Model Ones and these are the two I'll be using with my design today. Um, I was gonna go with that purple on my nail palette but then I thought about this um, cat eye gel and I haven't used them and I did want to do a video with them because they are really great quality and they're really affordable and I highly recommend them because um, I just love playing with cat eyes. Um, I think they're super, super cool and it's like one of my favorite things. Um, before I started doing my own nails and I used to go to the salon, cat eye used to be something I used to get almost every single set when I went, no lie. So. For me to be able to do it myself, I was just like thrown. That this this is like one of the first gel polish kits I bought when I started buying my nail products because Cat Eye was like my go-to every time I got my nails done. And I think that this color is really really beautiful. It comes with about six different shades, and they're all super gorgeous. And I will do a video like showing all of them. I meant to show them in this in this video here, um, but. I never got around to it, but I am going to do a future video. Um, the thumbnail does show all of the colors that come with it, but I am going to do a video kind of showing them because they're super, super pretty. So basically on my index, what I did is I took my nail art brush in a size three and the cat eye gel, and I just went up the middle and made like a line 
down the middle of the nail. And I'm not really good with straight, straight lines, so they might not be all that straight, guys, but it's going to look good, so don't come for me. <laughs> so now what I'm doing is taking my cleanup brush, and I'm just cleaning up, making sure I get it as straight as I thought it was. And I basically just painted the whole left side of the nail with, well, the right, if you're holding your hand up, with that color. And I'm taking the cat eye magnet and just going over it and trying to see like what I want to do with the cat eye effect on it before curing. And once I do get that set how I like, I do go ahead and cure the lamp for 30 seconds. And I'm basically gonna go ahead and do this on all of my nails. So I'll basically go up the middle with the cat eye um, gel with my nail art brush just to kind of map out where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna take the brush and go on the left side of the nail and fill that whole portion in with the cat eye gel. And I will go ahead and cure uh, each nail for about 10 seconds. Actually, I flash cure them. And then at the end, I do cure for a full 30 seconds and I decided to use the magnet going straight up and down so that you're really able to see that cat eye effect and I really really liked how this half of the nail looked. So once I get all of that set, I am going in with this white from the Homos Nude Gel Polish Collection that I just reviewed in a previous video. If you have not seen that, I will link that down below. And I'm going to make a half French. So I'm taking my nail art brush again and just going down the other half of the nail just making like a French tip. And then I will fill in the top portion of that nail. After doing each nail, I do go ahead and flash cure for 10 seconds. And once I get all of my fingers with this half French done, I do do a full cure in my lamp for 30 seconds. Also, the nail set you see on my right hand was a previous video that I just did before this one. And if you have not seen that video, I will also link that for you uh, so you can check it out. So the roughest part of this portion of my design was just making sure everything was as straight as I possibly can get it. So I do spend a little time trying to make sure the middle lines are okay. I take a clean up brush and I do clean that up as well. And I'm going to go ahead and just show one more nail and I'm just repeating this basically over all of my nails which is why I'm not going to show all of my nails because it's pretty repetitive. But if you're someone who likes to see everything, just comment down below and let me know. Because I know when I watch nail videos, I actually do enjoy watching everyone that I watch and comment on. I genuinely love watching their videos from beginning to end. Um, so everyone is a little different. Like, I don't mind the length of a nail video because I absolutely love watching them. Um, but, I mean, if you're someone who enjoys it, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do so. But I feel like it's basically literally the same thing over and over so I didn't feel the need to leave it in but anyway so I'm just doing this over all my nails like I said flash curing in between and then once they're all set I cure in my lamp for 30 seconds So now I'm going in with that amethyst color and I'm just going to basically outline the nail design. Um, so I wanted to incorporate this because I thought 
like I I placed these colors on my nail palette and I kind of went over with cat eye gel and so I kind of wanted a color that matched the cat eye effect in the gel and it didn't go exact but I still felt like it was pretty cute so I'm just outlining the line down the length of the nail and then I'm also going to outline the bottom of that fringe tip and then I'll cure in my lamp for 30 seconds once I do get all of the nails set. I hope everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And as always, I would like to take this time to thank anyone who has taken the time to watch any one of my videos. It is greatly appreciated. If you've been watching and haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It is free and I do uh, have some pretty good content. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Nail Addict family and thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. If you've been subscribed, I absolutely adore you and you already know that I have some real ones on my team and I appreciate and love you all. So for the design portion, I decided I wanted to put something on the French tips. So I'm kind of like lightly using my nail art brush and outlining some lips. And I gravitated back towards the lips because I had so much fun creating them in a video I did where I was reviewing the Homost new gel polish. And it was just so fun. Like I liked the way they looked. So I definitely wanted to incorporate another set with them. So I'm just gonna make three very small lips on the French tip side of the nail. And I am using the cat eye gel for this. So I start like making an M for the top of the lip and then make a line going down just to kind of fill that in. And then for the bottom, I kind of just go down and like fill in the bottom as much as I feel I should. And that completes my lip. And I'm going to, like I said, repeat that and do two more lips. Once I get the lips on my nail, I do take the magnet for the cat eye gel and kind of go over it. Um, and it really did make the cat eye effect and I thought that was really really neat for the set itself Then I took my dotting tool and just made some dots all through the nail just to kind of give it something extra in the empty spaces. And I again went over it with the magnet before curing and then I cured for 30 seconds. And I also did the same design with the lips on my pinky off camera. I didn't decide to show it, like I said, because it's really repetitive. So for my pinky and my thumb, they were both lips. Now on my middle and my ring, I decided to do hearts. So as you saw, I took my dotting tool and I made two dots and then I kind of just dragged the gel polish down to a V shape and it just makes a perfect heart every time. And I do make a three of those hearts and then in between the hearts this time before even going in with the magnet i do make my dots with the dotting tool and then i go over it with the cat eye magnet and then i cure for 30 seconds and what i loved about the design really and truly is the cat eye effect in the hearts of the lips especially in person you can see it really really good in the lighting like sunlight you can see it really good i just love cat eye gels so much and i just thought it was super super pretty So 
So once all of the designs are set, I'm taking my McCart rhinestone glue and I didn't want to go too extra with the nail set, but I am placing a dot right at the cuticle on each one of my fingers and I'm going to use some purple AB rhinestones that I got off of Amazon. I absolutely love these rhinestones. I will link them down below and they come in a variety of shades. Um, when I can't really think of much, these are my go-to and the set also comes with some like teardrop looking ones with the same AB effect and they're just super super pretty. So after I get the rhinestone glue set, like I said, I do take those purple rhinestones and place them at the cuticle, and then I cure for 30 seconds. Then I'm taking my Beatles top coat, and I'm just going to go ahead and top coat all of my nails, and then I'll cure for 30 seconds. Lastly, I'm taking my cuticle oil and just moisturizing my cuticles. Thank you. 